Here we go. Tracks and Slash Ultimate. I may have killed the speaker from Welcome back to RCPOV. My name is Israel, and we are going to be discussing what's overlooked in the RC community. Well, not pretty much with the racers, but with us average Joes. As good as, as, good as these as RCs, the RCs are, are out of the box, box. did you know you, you can know make, you make them go make faster, faster and handle, handle better just by changing, changing the alignment? alignment? So let's get into why people want to change their alignment. Well, this is a Traxxas Slash 4x4, and as you can see, it is pretty low. I, I maybe got three, maybe four millimeters between the ground and the chassis. So by lowering the car down, it changed the caster, camber, and tow, which made the car drive all cattywamper. And the RC still pulled 100 miles per hour with unbalanced tires, which I will say, you know what? That's pretty impressive, but I couldn't keep the car straight. Now the car is going straight as an arrow. I'm still messing around with the front, but how I fixed that was I had to buy an alignment kit. And this is from 20, uh, 720 Spin. So I paid about 80 bucks for it, maybe $82 with shipping. When you look at it, you're like, it's just plastic and some screws. You can use it on the Armor, Traxxas, Lossy. I'm pretty sure you can use these even on cars. They do not come with any instructions. So I looked on YouTube, only one, possibly even two videos popped up, which are pretty much useless. So let me explain some of this to you. These go on the back, these go on the front. So let me go ahead, take the wheels off, and throw them on there so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. We're gonna go ahead and install the rear ones first. Now before I can install the front, I'm gonna have to take the bottom bumper off. I need to charge that battery anyways. Now we're about to put the fronts on. You wanna make sure that this white piece is facing towards the front. So you'll want them both, both just like that. With your ending result, this is what it should look like. Now you have two sticks right here. Some people may not know how to use this or what does it even mean. So let's go with this. See, zero degrees. That means this top line, let's put it down so it's easier. This top line is completely straight, which would give you zero degree. Now, if you flip it around, see how you have a one degree here? This would give your RC, it has a slight curve in it. That would give you one degree. Your second stick has two degrees. This is where you can start definitely seeing the curve in it. And if you flip it around, this will be three degrees. So I believe, because my car has already been aligned, I believe I have two degrees. So what you want to do here, you want to take the two degrees, make sure that's facing towards the vehicle, and put it right here. Yep, mine is two degrees. See how there's no gap there? And there's no gap on that side? So if I wanted to get three degrees, all I would do is flip it around, put it right here, let's put it back up, make sure it's even on both sides. Now you can start to see a little gap right there. Not so much right there, but right there, that little adjustment would give you three degrees. So another example, let's go by one degree. Uh, I have a little bit, I have a little bit on the corners right there. You can see them just a little bit. Now negative or now zero degrees. Yeah, I got more going on the corners, see that. So the best thing to do is pick your desired degree, take your little uh, turnbuckle wrench, and you will come over here and start adjusting. One turn at a time, actually half a turn at a time, until you find the desired one you like, or which one actually the car likes. And I also use this tool, the negative side, to also set camber. The backs are done. The fronts, I'm still working on. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm still working on the front. Like for example, 
take the zero degree, put it up against the car. See, it is set at zero, which is awesome. That side is done. The fronts are not. See, I have a little camber in. I think this side has a little more camber. Actually, this one's, this one's almost, yeah, it's almost there. Still working on this because I got the traction bars. It's a little more complicated, but it's gonna get there. But a little tip for you guys out there. Anytime you're messing around your suspension and changing stuff around, you're always gonna have to go back and check your alignment and make sure things didn't go out of whack. Take it from me, I made changes here or there, went out there, cars freaking all over the road. It's making passes, but I'm fighting the car to try to keep the car straight, so keep that in mind, guys. Well, there you guys have it. 720 spin alignment kit for the short course track trucks. I do think they're kind of expensive, but now that I look at it, it's simple. And simple things are usually expensive. Now, things that are cheap are usually complicated. That's because they're cheap and they're complicated to do. But this turned out to be all right. Actually, 80 bucks. Uh, well spent. Well, if you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You guys know what that means. It's over.